2022, I spent a lot of money on video games. And 2023, doesn't look like it's going to be swallowing down anytime soon. So yeah, this is my yearly third video of the year where I do my games I'm buying in 2023 so far. Starting out with Telltale's team up with Deck Nine Games, The Expanse, and a new episodic game, horror space game, that looks like it's going to be really, really, really good. Now, with De Telltale Games and Deck Nine teaming up, like it's really excited to see what both companies with their ideas and what they both can do. I'm excited to see this collab teamwork. So. And it's also coming out summer 2023. Next up, Fallout 4 Remastered. Not going to say too much. Like 2015's Fall single player RPG that made a lot of changes to the Fallout series. Gaina. A free upgrade remaster next year, and I'll probably be getting this while I'm getting it because I already own it. It's free, and there's going to be some new creation club content. And I'll probably be doing a new playthrough just for something to do to pass the time. Maybe it comes out early 2023, so I guess I'm glad Fallout is getting somewhat of a new game instead of having 76 to be the new Fallout game for a while. So yeah, I'm just glad we're getting somewhat of a brand new single player game. Next up, Wolf Among Us 2. And it's hopefully finally coming out this year. We've been waiting 10 years for this. This year marks 10 years. Hope it can be good. Because it's different writers, I think, now. But the longest Telltale sequel game hopefully is coming out this year. So Wolf Among Us 2, excited to see Bib... Bibby, Wolf, and Snow White again. The new characters. And not going to say much about this one. Crash Team Rumble was announced at the Game Awards. It's going to be a 4v4 multiplayer game. Sucks that we're getting another crash in a row. But hopefully we can get Spyro again this year. Because it's his 25th anniversary. Next up, Spider-Man 2 and Zombie in Zombie Axe sequel to Spider-Man PS4, Marvel Spider-Man PS4, and Spider-Man Miles Morales is going to be a completely next-gen, current-gen game. There won't be a PS4 version, but this is going to be great. It's going to have Venom in it. It sucks that they're replacing Harry's voice actor, but... I think it still is going to be a really, really good game. Fall 2023 comes out. Next up, Dead Island 2. There's a lot of 2s coming out this year. Spider-Man 2, Wolf Among Us 2, Dead Island 2. There's probably going to be some more 2s coming out. But we all know Dead Island 2. Originally announced back in 2014. It's been through development hell. It's had multiple changes. It got delayed again, unfortunately, to April. Let's just hope... That it's finally going to come out, which I think it will. Which will be nine years so on the date it was originally announced. But I'm getting Dead Island 2. I got the feeling it's going to be better than the Dead Island 1. And finally, Starfield. Bethesda's first new franchise in a long time. A game that's been in development for 25 plus years. And their first new game since Fallout 4, which is eight years ago. So, let's just hope it comes out this year. But if it gets delayed longer, it's going to suck. But rather have the game be delayed than not work. So, what are you guys getting? <laughs>